are the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials, AASHTO. And this is our story, a story that spans 100 years. This is our stage, highways crisscrossing the landscape, bridges stretching to the horizon, steel rails humming from sea to shining sea, waterways flowing with bounty, and skies calling travelers to faraway places. For 100 years running, we have been at the heart of a complex, ever-expanding transportation system, making whatever moves, move safely and efficiently. When transportation works, business thrives, and people stay connected. The consistency of transportation anywhere you go in our country is largely due to the efforts of AASHTO and the standardization that we've been able to achieve. This is our purpose, improving safety, expanding mobility, and shaping policy at the highest levels to improve the many ways transportation impacts our daily lives. This organization is uniquely positioned to continue to bring together the experts. These are our shining stars, our members sharing knowledge and vision, driving innovation, developing standards continuously for the last 100 years. Everything that we do is about advancing the economic competitiveness of the city, the county, the state, or the country that we live in, and the quality of life for the people that live there. AASHTO also works with all the state to come up with a unified vision. We were there when modern transportation was born. We helped to guide its growth, making it fast and interconnected, helping it to thrive. We are AASHTO. And this is our century of transportation achievement for a better tomorrow. In the early 1900s, America was in the throes of a transportation revolution. The old horse and buggies were giving way to automobiles, and automakers were revving up assembly lines to meet our country's newfound passion for driving. You see these graphic pictures of, of dirt tracks and, and cars mired in mud. And certainly in Wyoming, that was part of, the, uh, part of the picture at times. Back then, owning a car was America's manifest destiny. But lumbering, bumping, and jostling over the country's primitive roads was a manifest misery. How did you get goods from farm to market? Um, how did you move within urbanized areas? How do you connect urbanized areas? So that our predecessors got together and said, you know what, they looked at the future. They looked and said, this country is going to be um, prosperous if we connect these vast resources that we have as a country. In November 1914, our founders, a group of state highway commissioners and engineers, attended the American Road Congress in Atlanta. They met at that city's Georgian Terrace Hotel to discuss the creation of a new association, one that would help to get America out of the mud. A month later, in Washington, D.C., our forerunner, the American Association of State Highway Officials, or ASHO, was born. Through ASHO, road projects became coordinated state by state and technical information shared so that America's road challenges could be untangled and better addressed using the most modern construction practices. In 1916, we supported the first federal aid bill, which became the bedrock from which an extensive system of state-built and maintained highways would evolve. In the post-World War II period, a booming America hit the road, and ASHO helped pave the way. The Federal Highway Act of 1956, spearheaded by President Eisenhower and championed by ASHO, transformed America by launching the interstate highway system. As this incredible achievement took shape over the next several decades, we played a vital role collaborating with every state highway department to develop, maintain, and improve that nationwide network. By the 1970s, modes of transportation by land, sea, and air were becoming ever more interconnected. In 1973, we expanded to become AASHTO, the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials. 
It was more than a name change. Our new mission focused on all modes of transport, including air, bicycle, public transit, rail, and water. Membership increased, gathering administrators under one unified umbrella. ASHTO is the association that allows us to come together, develop those joint policies, and speak as one voice. We became even more attuned to the rhythms of a vibrant nation. New modal committees were established to address growing needs in public transportation, water transport, aviation, and railway sectors. In 1991, the Intermodal Surface Transportation Efficiency Act, known as ICE-T, established ground rules for integrated multimodal transportation planning. It gave state officials the flexibility to develop their own unique mix of transportation projects to best suit local needs, principles that still guide transportation initiatives today. All of these systems are integrated and you can't look at one at the exclusion of another. We also supported an array of strategies to make roadways safe and help keep travelers out of harm's way. Safety is so important and it is our number one priority at the Louisiana Department of Transportation. Since 2007, through our safety initiatives, the fatality rate has been reduced by 30%. We're the leader in transportation policy. From the ease of movement for work or pleasure to the free flow of harvest and raw materials to markets around the world. Our state departments of transportation rely on one another to ensure that we have an interconnected transportation system in this country. ASHTO has evolved is it's not just about roads and bridges, it's about the transit systems, it's about our ports, it's about our freight railroads. ASHTO's role is very important in trying to bring all the stakeholders to the table and develop that national vision. We propel critical issues to the forefront of national discussions by serving as a liaison between states and the federal government and advocating for investment in the country's aging infrastructure. ASHTO's had influence in our voice on Capitol Hill by acquainting us with the issues in a more broad-based fashion than what we would see normally. So not only have they listened to what our issues are on the ground, but they've also helped us to understand what the broader picture is. We promote transportation research with a keen eye on how to improve quality of life and fuel economic development. As a laboratory of innovation, we offer technical services that spark large-scale advancements no state alone has the resources to develop. So we have a bridge in downtown Louisville that for many years languished on the drawing boards. We've been able to forge partnerships to make that project happen, and uh, a project that uh, frankly would have been impossible had we not had many of the relationships that we've been able to forge through ASHTO. As the signposts of a remarkable century of achievement recede, we look to where we are headed and wonder, where will our travels take us tomorrow? The uniqueness of ASHTO that you really don't get in any other organization is you have people across the country that sit in your seat. So it doesn't matter if you're the CEO or you're the traffic engineer, the design engineer, the construction engineer. What you have in common with other people through ASHTO is people that have the same challenges that you do. 100 years from now, there's going to be an ASHTO. I can't tell you exactly what it's going to look like or how it's going to function, but the decisions that we make today will have profound effect on how well and efficient that system is in the future. The exchange of opportunities and the exchange of ideas that ASHTO affords all of us that are in this business is critical to how we move forward. No matter the route or mode of transportation, we will transform the ride for another 100 years. Ashto, a century of transportation achievement for a better tomorrow. <laughs>